Hello my dear viewers, in this tutorial I will show you how to animate analog clock in PowerPoint. To do this, we have to overcome two phases. First phase, we have to design the clock and in the second phase, we have to animate the clock. Okay, let's start. This is PowerPoint slideshow and here I am taking a new slide. I am right clicking here to take a new slide. New slide, I am clicking on it then select it then delete and at the starting point we have to show the grid line so that we can design the clock very easily for this go to view menu and click here grid line i have already set it okay here we will insert an oval shape for our analog clock okay go to insert menu and here go to shape click on it here you will get this type of oval shape okay i am selecting oval shape and in this way i am drawing here to resize the shape and to fill the color outline etc we will have to right click on it and we have to go to size and position here we are giving the particular size six inches here also six inches then 600 a scale width 600 okay then i am seeking log aspect ratio so that if we resize it its all type shape will be same here you will get this option align that means we will align the oval shape click here select center yes i am selecting center and go to alignment again and select align middle Yes, I am selecting middle so that this oval shape can be aligned just in the middle position. Now I am going to fill the shape. See here, shape fill. Click here. You can select different options here or texture. Okay. I am selecting texture from this option. Or you can also do it clicking here. Same thing is here. Okay. Then I am copying this shape. You can right click on it and copy or from your keyboard you can press ctrl plus c for copy and ctrl plus v for paste or right click on it you can paste see here i am just moving it so that i can understand and i am resizing it click size and properties option here i am selecting five inches if you select 5 inches, then weight and other thing will be automatically sensed because log aspect ratio has been set. Okay, now I am going to fill option, ingredients, yes, I am choosing any one according to my choice. Okay, or you can select any other type, I am selecting this one, or you can select this one also, no problem. Okay, then you can select here, type, you can select this one. Or you can select this type or you can select radial type or you can select linear type but I am selecting here path type you can choose any type of design according to your size now I am positioning this shape click here then you will get alignment option here align then click align center yes then go to align option then click align middle so that the smaller oval shape can be in the middle position okay now we have to select both the ovals in this way then we will group it so that the two ovals can be interacted at a time okay so i am going to group it okay i have already grouped it then i am going to set the number of the clock suppose here is 12 here is 3 here is 6 here is 9 in this way so go to insert menu click text box and set here i am writing 12 selecting it then enlarging it i am choosing other type of font suppose a real black it looks fine you can choose other type of font no problem then from the alignment select center okay set it in the proper position yes then copy it from the keyboard you can press ctrl plus c to copy it and ctrl plus v to paste it i am pasting here one 
to three options here it will be nine then drag it it will be six then drag this on it will be three okay i have already set the position of the time of the clock now we have to set our hand minute hand and second hand we have to remember that our hand will be at first then on the our hand we have to set the minute hand and on the minute hand we have to set the second hand that means second hand will be at the top of the three hands at first i am going to set the our hand i am clicking on insert menu go to shape option here you will get triangle shape i am clicking here i am taking a shape here say I am resizing the shape. Now copy it from the keyboard. Ctrl plus C, then Ctrl plus V, and move here in this way. Set it in the opposite side. See here. Then select the two part of the hour option using your keyboard. Press Ctrl and click here. Then it will be selected. Then group it. I'm making group. Okay. Then I am going to give its name so that we can easily understand. Please click selection pane. Here is selection pane. Click on it. Then its name should be double click on it. Then I am writing HS. That means our hand. Okay. And here this part should be shown, but the lower part should not be shown. It will be hidden. Okay. So we will select it. How can we do it? select this one okay it has been selected and now go to shape fill select no fill and this outline also should be hidden so go here and select no outline okay we have done close this pane now we have to select the position of the hour hand we like to select the position of the hour hand in the direction of three okay so select it at first then click here and now set here 90 degree see its position has come to the direction of three now copy this our hand to make minute hand and second hand step by step okay for that select it at first then from the keyboard ctrl plus c to copy it then ctrl plus v to paste it okay and you can use this on minute hand will be slightly bigger than our hand and slightly thinner in size this type click format menu then align it align center then align middle okay then select selection pane to name it i'm giving its name ma's minute hand then select the first part of the minute hand so that we can sense its color go to shape fill you can choose any color i am selecting this color and the position of the minute hand will be in the direction of 12 and the position of the second hand also will be in the direction of 12 okay click outside now select it again now copy and paste copy paste it will be slightly bigger in size and slightly thinner the selection pane here name it at first second hand sa second hand okay then select the first one then select shape fill like this we can slightly enlarge the second hand you can easily do it select it or slightly bigger than that then align the second hand center then middle okay now in the middle of that clock we will give an oval shape okay for that go to insert menu go to shape then click oval and do it in this way its shape can be resized here it will be 0.8 okay now click here format then align this oval shape align center then align middle and you can change the color shape fill i am selecting this color you can choose anyone okay after here everything has been done for designing the analog clock now in the second phase it is our turn to animate the clock at first select the second hand 
then go to animation menu then click here animation pane then add animation on the emphasis option click spin then we will set the timetable duration and other things click on it then select timing the clock will start when we will click it then duration we know that if the second hand just moves around the whole circle its total time is 60 seconds okay for that set 60 seconds here then select repeat option until the end of the slide then effect option click effect tab set here 360 360 clockwise has already set click ok then select minute hand at first then add animation in the same way spin ok here we will customize the minute hand option see here go to timing or effect option anyone start option with previous so that the minute hand can start with the second hand then timing will be 600 seconds okay i am setting 600 seconds then repeat until the end of the slide 600 seconds means 10 minutes so the minute hand will come to 10 minutes position and the 10 minutes position means go to effect option here you have to select 60 degree because we know from 12 to 3 there is 90 degree here is 90 degree here is 90 degree here is 90 degree so in 10 minutes the minute hand will come to the direction of 2 here 1 here is 2 here is 3 3 means 90 degree so 2 means 60 degree 1 means 30 degree for 10 minutes that means 60 degree we are setting here 60 degree enter click ok escape then we have to select the hour hand i am selecting here go to animation click spin in the same way you can close this panel if you need more space i am closing it to customize the hour hand please click here go to effect option or timing so i am selecting with previous then we have to select 10 minutes that means 600 seconds because in powerpoint at best we can set 10 minutes now repeat option until the end of the slide it is a big question that when the minute hand will go to 10 minutes then how much the hour hand will move okay we have to calculate it go to effect option from 12 to 1 30 degree from 2 to 3 30 degree 3 to 4 30 degree our hand will move 30 degree when we will pass one hour but we are passing only 10 minutes so 10 minutes is the one sixth of an hour so we have to select one sixth of 30 degree that means 5 degree then click ok in the second phase animation of the analog clock has been done now let's see the clock okay click slideshow click any button yes it has started In this video, I have shown only 10 minutes option of the analog clock. If you like this video, please share it with your friends give us like and never forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much thank you everybody